All right, good morning, everyone. Today's film, Art Bastard, is a interesting, offbeat story. Uh, it's a New York story, and it's the story of an artist. So I wondered if you could expand a little bit about how the, the, the tradition that you uh, found yourself working in, that you were struck by what Charles Baudelaire called the painter of modern life, what it's been like to sort of stick by that. When I consider myself a, a, a painter of history, I paint what's around me. But I had uh, things to say about what was going on now. The way that the art was filmed was, in a way, how I paint it. I see the art in this film in a far better way than going through a, a gallery because people don't take the time anymore to look at a, a painting that has much going on in it. One of the images in your Yes Art show was of the uh, then very influential art critic Henry Gelsaller. The critics and those establishment figures, they certainly do figure in what the creation of the contemporary art narrative that you were excluded from was. And I wondered if you'd elaborate a little about that aspect of the art world narrative. The great frustration uh, for me over the years, it's just like I don't exist in the art world, but I've sold many paintings. So Henry Gelzeller, I'm glad you recognize him. He wasn't very happy with that picture, by the way. Andy Warhol came to the show, actually, he just wrote no in the book. So I, I, uh, I took that as a compliment. Think of me as the most widely written about unknown artist in America. I have a moral obligation to paint what I feel is correct. That's, that's what I have a moral obligation to. Given the note on which the movie ends, with some of the images from your bigger canvases, I think a natural question that occurred to me was, uh, have you been applying your brush to uh, some of the recent political phenomenon going on? And will you be painting about the Republican convention? <laughs> of course, I've been painting the end of the world for a long time, but uh, I have to read the paper in the morning and see what else has been handed to me to interpret on my canvas.